photos from God and the Testament and all of the glory and the truth. I will buy Shemmy, I will shy by Shemmy, I will dash. Yabba is a great minister, no elder apostle, we teach you well. Peace and salutation to those who elect to scatter broadly like that nation. Shalom, shalom. And shalom to the sincere occupants that's out there on the highways and byways and hedges, proclaiming this truth and teaching the 100 gospel. Okay? And a shalom to the sincere Akwathi and that's out there that's referencing their husband being a pillar of rescue, doing so to those who may be. And a shalom to the hopeful electors out there, okay? Yahweh has been the heavenly father, which the word ignorantly calls God, which his name means in Paleo Hebrew. He exists, he's the age of day, Bahashim meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, being the only begotten son of the heavenly father, which the word ignorantly called Jesus the Christ, which his name means in ancient Paleo Hebrew, he is the deliverer, he's the saved, and he was, he's going to come back and save the children of Israel only. And right. Rakakadash being the Holy Spirit, okay? This is GMS St. Louis coming back at it again with another camp lesson. And basically today's camp lesson is basically going into is it cowardly to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove? Okay, because when Yahweh Shah was on the scene, you know, Yahweh Shah didn't stir up no mischief, okay? The only reason why there was mischief because you did have niggas back there, okay? That perceive everything the wrong way, okay? But at the same time, Yahweh Shah is the example to look upon to be, okay? When Yahweh Shah was on the scene, he was about more of taking the low route and peaceful route, okay? Once again, we know there's a time and place for everything. But when Yahweh Shah told us to be when we out here on the highways and byways and hedges, be peaceful, peaceful, man, okay? Teach, all right? Because when we out here, we ain't trying to look for no controversy, no strife, no none of that, shit, okay? We just trying to lift up the, we just trying to uh, teach us to the hopeful elect that's out here, man. Not the whole world, okay? Right. That's the problem with most of these other camps, guys. They want to teach them to the whole world, okay? We are here for the hopeful elect, not everyone, okay? Go ahead and join us, brother. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 10, and verse 16, and it reads, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. God. So, right, we are in the midst of wolves, man. Meaning we are a prey, man. So anything you do to antagonize these people, man, you can lose your life, man. Just think about it, if a sheep was left to itself out in the wilderness, man. Man, a sheep would get tore up by a pack of wolves, man. Think about it, you are outnumbered, okay? Yeah, we all standing bold up here, but at the same time, with two other characters, HOI, WFI, what y'all did, that was that, was, that didn't make no sense, man. You literally, it's a parade of people, man. And you thinking, oh, the Lord is with us. We gonna fight back. Man, if the Lord really wanted to, he could have put the spirit on them to whoop your ass, man. Yeah. But guess what? The Lord had mercy on y'all, man. Now, hey, the next time you're trying to do that, hey, the Lord probably just gonna hit y'all off. Okay? But once again, we read that it could be that it came up show. Matthew 10 and 16. And it reads, Behold, I sent you forth the sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and right. harmless as doves. Be wise as a serpent. Now, if you look at the character attributes of a serpent, okay, like a rattlesnake, for example, you know a rattlesnake give you a warning, okay? It give you a warning before it's gonna hit your ass, okay, or strike you, okay? That little tail starts shaking, or any kind of serpent, it starts, it, it, it give you, uh, it give you a couple times to get away from it. That's how we are, okay? We give you warnings, we give you verbal warnings and stuff. But at the same time, you try to cause harm to us, we're going to defend ourselves, okay? There's a time and place for it, okay? You got to know when to strike, just like when a serpent is hunting for its food. You got to know when to strike, okay? Because what if you just strike too damn early? Now you falling off the branch. How many of you brothers see videos of a serpent trying to strike or something, and it fall down? That's what happens when you just trying to strike at everything instead of trying to take the low route like a dove, okay? Exactly, exactly, man. Yeah, because look, man. Yeah, you could be all strike, strike, strike all damn day. But this is going to catch up with you, man. Yeah, it's a snake. And it's the fix. He don't want to bite you, actually. He'd rather run away from you. Exactly, because he don't exactly. waste venom. See that? Right. I mean, he don't, he, he don't want to waste his venom. He'd rather just run away from you. But if you pin him down, he'll bite. 
Right, because it's like, at the same time, you got to know when to shrink. But at the same time, like the brother just went into it, something going to flee. Okay? It's like a dove at the same time. A dove is a hard as hell. Every time you see a dove, it's low to the ground, humble. It ain't bothering nobody. They actually wait until you get, get close. Like, if you throw stuff at it, you wait until it's getting real close, they fly away. Exactly. I never seen a dove attack anybody. Okay? That is going to show you why the Lord brought out that example of being wise as a serpent arm as a dove because you got to know when to strike and know when to flee, okay? Because you're not going to win all the battles, man, okay? Go ahead, go ahead, real quick. Those same uh, uh, people, that the racist people was protesting our earth. But guess what? We didn't get into any brawls, and, and a few of them threw their fist up, like, supporting what we doing, too. We understand why they mad. You know, we understand that. Uh, we share the same name with you. You know, you know? Yeah. as the old saying goes, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. You know, so we're going to associate ourselves with y'all. We know that y'all belong in that land, but hey, we, we understand. You know, this, this is a devil here, man. We know, but at the same time, what y'all did, y'all just antagonized. Man. That day right there is not moving in the spirit at all. Man. Deuteronomy 6 and 16, it reads, You shall not tempt the Lord your God as you tempted him in the Messiah. So yeah, you ain't supposed to tempt the Lord. Okay, you ain't supposed to put yourself in harm's way and make it seem like that the most high is going to protect you. See, like the Lord, he gave you specific uh, uh, instructions on how to deal with these people in the world. You know, like you deliver to the officer. Okay, as you agree with that adversary, you know, be at peace with all men. You know, hey, a lot of you uh, Israelites out there, you you uh you treat this thing like a uh, like a damn game. You know, hey, we not a game. You know, like this is our this is our heritage. Okay? And this this is what happens when you you so called Israelites. You know, when y'all new to the faith, you know, y'all don't apply the scriptures, man. First thing y'all do, y'all get out there on the highways and byways and not even learn yet. Okay, because you got to study first before you hit the, hit the highways, man. Because basically, that's like you calling yourself a boxer. You never trained a day in your life boxing. And you get into that ring with somebody that got like 13 years ahead of you. They going to turn your ass up, man. Because you talk a lot, but when you got out there, you ain't do nothing. Okay, same thing with this truth. You got to be, you gotta be uh, trained within your mind, man. You got to first get off the old man. There's a lot of things that we see within Israel. There's a lot of guys that don't put off the old man. They want to keep the old man within the truth. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, we, we got you. Why the hell are you trying to be a game within, within the truth, man? We got some kids from that unity camp, man. A lot of them that were speaking was antagonizing Israelites walking by. Talking about something. Hey, what you doing walking down the street, boy? Who said you could walk down the street? Kiss my boot. Like, what the fuck is that for? That ain't no, there's no edification in that. Right. Right. <laughs> you, you, you niggas just having a scream battle, man. No scriptures coming out. Y'all just screaming at somebody to come kiss your boot, man. Come on, man, ain't no edification in that. Why well, is the sheep gonna learn from that, man? Because when you have a shot, talk to Peter. What did he tell him? Feed my sheep. He didn't say go the other the heathen to say, kiss my boot. No. That all comes with that when we teaching out here. Okay, we give these nations our judgment, man. Be by doing what? Going into the scriptures. Not coming out of our own hearts and just saying what the hell is on our mind. No, we gotta go through the scriptures. Okay? Hold on. This is uh, the book of Exodus chapter 23 and verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shall thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Right. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Right. There it is in scripture. This is given by the Lord and spoken to Moses, man. Thou shalt not follow the multitude to do evil, man. Because, hey, once again, man, when we were before. We always pray to the Lord to see we will win or we will lose, man. But you niggas did was just out of your own will, okay? It was just, oh, I want to make a name for myself, okay? 
I want to be known in Israel. It ain't gonna mean nothing, man, because at the end of the day, what we are doing, man, this is honorable, man. Using the scriptures, applying wisdom, man. The Lord never told us that to just go out to war for no reason, man. You niggas just want to go do what the hell you want and not apply the scriptures, man. And that, that same mindset, you keep that mindset that Jacob's trouble, you don't get fucked out, man. Yeah. Real talk. Uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 24 and it reads and the servant of the Lord must not strive but be gentle unto all men have to teach patience and meekness instructing those that oppose themselves if you howl for your adventure would give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth Second Timothy 2 and 24. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, and meekness, instruct those that are opposed to themselves. about it's um uh, it's false prophets amongst the circumcision okay like the, like the worst person that you meet is a nigga that know he is like <laughs> because he know the scriptures but he but he twisted the scriptures to fit to fit his narrative you know and deuteronomy 23 and 7 that's not a whore but uh, he didn't might which already know what that translates to Zephaniah 3 and 8, it reads, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Right, here it is, the Lord is good and said, Wait upon me until I rise up to the prey. I reign my righteous anger upon these nations, man. Why are you trying to make, why are you trying to do your own thing, man? But the Lord clearly told you, wait upon me. Did not the Lord say, I will make you into a battle axe, man, and use you for, the, for his purpose, man? Why are you niggas trying to just go out with Esau's blessing, man? The Lord said, if you're going to live by the sword, you're going to die by the sword, man. It's going, uh, I think I got that. Uh, Peter had sliced off one of the uh, service ears, yeah. and the Lord rebuked him, man. 
because simply just on um, you know, just uh, slicing the bread off and trying to find props. Yeah. If and, and, and Yahusha even clearly said, if I wanted to, I could pray to my father for twelve thousand, a thousand of legion of angels, man. Yes, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1. If you don't mind, can I start at the third verse? Okay. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, starting at the third verse. It says, For forward thoughts separate us from God, Yahweh, and his power, when it is tried, reproveth the unwise. For, for, unto, a, for unto a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. Right. And what we are seeing here is a bunch of malicious, malicious people that call themselves Israelites, man. And y'all wonder why y'all don't apply the scripture because y'all simply not moving in the spirit, man. And how can the spirit rest in something that is malicious, man? Because y'all probably doing things within, probably within the camps that we don't see off camera towards each other, man. Because we know it's, it's a bunch of fucked up shit going on within these camps, man. Especially IAYC, man. It's a bunch of stuff that happens. That get brought out, man. We just don't do lessons on y'all because we hate y'all. No, we do lessons because it's supposed to be corrected, man. But we get called bum Israelites, man. That, that's, that's really just being, you really hating your own brother, man. We are getting called cowards. So ultimately, you want to call Yahweh Shah a coward because he didn't, he, Yahweh Shah chose the peaceful route and low route. Really, y'all really have a problem with Yahweh Shah. That's all it is, man. Y'all ain't like how Yahweh Shah handles situations. Yahweh Shah chose the low route, the peaceful route. But you niggas want to be like, nah, fuck that peace shit, man. We need to go to war. We need to raise up arms. We need to go out with Esau's blessing to bring about a name for ourselves, man. Right, that's that age of provocateur shit. Remember what happened to that nigga, uh, what was that nigga name? Not fucking around crew, what was his uh, name? Grandmaster J. Yeah. Right, look yeah. what happened to him, man. Look what happened to him, now he in jail. That's gonna be the same lot for you niggas, man. He probably ain't too. You said what? He probably ain't too. Exactly, he gotta be. TV from you on the newspaper, bro. Come on, man. And, and what made it look suspicious when they were in the bedroom, bro? Who was all that for, man? Calling all caps, calling all caps. Man, man, the hell man, you don't sound like the like the Avengers thing, man. All in all camps, y'all all about to be on the highways and runways with different doctors and shit. Now y'all trusting in the people with yourselves, man. Yeah, ain't nothing possible called being the person. Hey, hey, shit, you need to like being the person. What the hell is being the person? I look at him, I'm like, oh. Alright, so the whole point is, man, it's like, where are you going to accomplish with that, man? We, we are living in some dark times right now, and you niggas just trying to make a name for yourself. There is a council of scriptures what happen when you do that, man. Right. And you just trying to do things on your own will. Hey, the Lord is not with that, man. Because if you move in the spirit, you would know to be like, hey, let me wait upon the Lord. You know, I pray to the Lord to see how I'm going to get out of this situation. And I'm not going to act on it, you know. But no, nah, what y'all did, y'all could just act on it instead of relying on the spirit to lead you, man. Because y'all claim that the spirit is leading y'all the whole time. That's just safe, man. You know, leading y'all to a ditch, man. Leading you to death. Okay? Uh, we'll tell them to get the book of Acts. Acts 9. Uh, start at verse 15. It's about the Sirach chapter 8. Sirach 8 and uh, 15, it says, To rail not by the way with the bold fellow, lest he become grievous unto thee, for he will do according to his own will, and thou shalt perish with him through his father. So, 
18 and 10. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and smote the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Then said Yahweh to Peter, Put up thy sword into the sheath. The cup which my father hath given me shall I not drink it. Right. Here it is, Yahweh shall be Peter. Put your sword up, man. I ain't the time for that right now. So, okay, your house shot me like, I, I gotta go and call the cops. Okay? Don't defy cops, and that's what you guys try to do. Okay? Now, Peter wasn't a wicked man, he just, he just got rebuked, man. Okay? Which, you know, that's just love, man. A lot of you guys don't know how to take rebuke without getting in your feelings, man. So, it's like when we get on you, counsel, about what y'all are doing, it's not like we hate you or nothing. It's out of love, bro. That's all it is because we don't want nothing bad happening to you, man. Right. But it's like, damn, if you want to smoke with the Lord, the Lord going to give you that, man. Right, I had a, like, this is Matthew 26. It's like, um, just to further explain, Matthew 26 and 52. Then say, Yahweh shall unto him, put up again thy sword into his place. All that take the sword shall perish with the sword. I think it's, now that I cannot pray to my father, he shall present to give me more than 12 inches of angels. There it is right there. There it is, the brother went into it. Once again, the other shot said, I can pray to my father for 12 legions of angels, man. And what is a legion? A thousand, right? 12,000 angels, man. Here it is, the Lord of the Lord, the Lord the Lord. I'm still prophecy got to be fulfilled, man. Okay? Prophecy has to be fulfilled, man. 
three round shot could have just destroyed the Roman Empire right there. Yes. But no, the posse has to be behind the field. Even at that time, you had the Sakari back then, man. You wanted to make a name for themselves, man. I started to think that's where they got that Assassin's Creed game from, man. You niggas, man. Sneaking up on Romans, stabbing them, killing them, and stuff, and disappearing into the night. But eventually, y'all fell off, man. Y'all killed yourselves, burnt yourselves, and stuff like that. Because, yeah, yeah. So that's probably where they, yeah, that's probably where they got it from. And that's that's not cool because y'all was the fine prophecy, man. Here it is, the Lord just clearly said, wait upon me. Okay? And the Lord said he clearly could have called upon 12 legions of angels, man. But now you niggas so impatient. That's why the Lord said he that endures it to the end shall be saved. You gotta have patience, man. You just can't just be like, no one fuck it, I give up on we just gonna do our own thing. No, you cannot do that. Because now you putting yourself in damnation to this, man. Not only, but just out of the mouth. Thank the Lord, man. Thank you, Lord. You know, you can put the death in there, you're in the face with the Lord. The Lord looking at you like, man, All you had to do was just wait. Now you're here. Like, if you out in the bar, man, and somebody come up and he got a whole bunch of people with him and stuff, he cuts you out and push you around and stuff, you get all mad and stuff, and now you turn around and want to fight him and stuff, now you're getting jumped. All you had to do was just walk away. Okay? All you had to do was just walk away. Now, brother, go ahead with that uh, book of Acts. Just real quick, just wanted to back up and go and uh, land back off of what the brother said about this word, this gospel, really being about righteousness and faith. And you got all these other men out here who are still carving, okay? And uh, that's not the recipe, if you will, for success, meaning the success is salvation. Okay, so this is Romans. I'll make this quick, just jump right to uh, Romans 1 and 16 and reads, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Hamashiach, for it is the power of the Most High unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek, which is our scattered Israelites, verse 17, for therein is the righteousness of the Most High revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. And so. When you are here on the highways and byways, it takes faith. It takes a, 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 a man of faith to stand out here and, and, and subsequently put yourself in harm's way. But yeah, some things may, may happen to you, all right? But you're out here as a man of faith. You're not out here to fight anybody, right? Okay? And you're not out here to be calm, all right? This, this, hey, they, they call GMS a face based group. Well, okay, that's what we are. That's right. You know, you just gave us the biggest compliment that you could. Right. Okay? Uh, that's all right. Now. How you make an insult into a compliment, man? You know, because, yeah, the Lord clearly just said we got to live by faith, man. Okay? We, and the Lord said without faith, it's impossible to please him, man. The Lord right. also said, second is the 15th right. chapter. Those that are unfaithful should die in what? They unfaithfulness, man. So just imagine you and Jacob's trouble when you just trying to make a name for yourself. You doing everything, you think you're doing everything on your own, but the whole time the Lord just got you step to death, man. Because you, the Lord just saw that you can't believe me. Okay? When the Lord clearly said he's gonna work out his strange works and his strange acts, and here you can just go and still try to do your own thing, man. 
just can't get to the point. Do you niggas even read, man? It's like y'all just put on your fringes, go on the highways and byways, and just scream, man. Like, I mean, you know the script to say, cry a lot, spare none. Man, what are y'all doing, man? Because no edification come out from there. Y'all just yelling all damn day. Get to a microphone. If you need a microphone, talk. Right, you be talking loud into a microphone like the microphone not loud enough as it is. Attention, really. Right. Even when I was in, when I was in WFI, like, I never really felt comfortable with the whole microphone thing. It's just unnecessary attention. All we gotta do is just use our voices, just like naturally happen. Right. And here it is. We are in the chief place of concourse. These buildings are made out of concrete. Of course, our voices reverberate through the through the buildings, man. You think people can't hear this, man? Yes. They can hear us in their damn rooms, man. Hey, right, they can hear us, man. Just adding the microphone, that, that's just a noise, man. We get the fire, but it's like, hey, you gotta use wisdom, man. Cause what if you make it too much noise, now you get hit with a uh, police report, uh, noise complaint, man. First time we went out for a week, we got to get it out. All it is is man. The police come around and say, hey guys, just calm it down, or you guys have to move down the block, or something like that. Just be like, okay, back the stuff up and go. It's like, you know, like, we fishermen, right? So, you don't want to scare the fish. Right. You know? Like, when a fisherman is fish, fishing up the right. It is how you, it is how you other Israelite camps is coming off. You know, like you come off very disrespectful and um, you know just uh, aggressive. You know, just try to just cut people. You know? It's like you said, you know, fisherman. He just goes out and cast his line, which our line is these scriptures, right? Yeah. And we wait till we, you know what I'm saying? We reel somebody in. You don't cast out the line, and then you skipping rocks across the pond and shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna catch nothing. Right, right. right. Cannonball into the water and shit. You definitely gonna scare all the fish you man. Because once again, we not here for everyone, okay? We not here for all Israel, okay? You only here for the whole fun life, man. It's like the brother just went into, you know, fishing right now, man. The brother just went into the way we fish through the word, man. Okay? What is the attributes of a fisher? So you gotta be long suffering. You, you catch your eyes to the water, you get, you might think you got something. You might just come back and fight with some dirt. You know? Right, a food or something. You fight mad and shit, you get the fuck this fish and shit. No. You gotta keep going. Man, just because you can scream loud doesn't mean you might be as loud as you all did, you still wrong with the mark of the And you you you, you call it what is wicked for telling you that you have no business getting into a carnal fight or it could have been avoided, right? And that you don't need to be trying to start another number again. You call us wicked for telling you. But you can really according to the scripture. And you know, but because you can yell loud, that, that doesn't mean nothing. Right. That don't mean nothing because you're the loudest person in the room. Don't get no one, man. That's like a car making all that noise and you turn down the street. The nigga's still right there, man. That, that's how you niggas are, man. You making all that noise and yet no edification to them, man. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the false prophets of all, they were more than them than they were Elijah. They were loud as hell. Mm -hmm. And guess what? God didn't come down to, to, to the burn up that water like like they, and they cursed themselves and everything. Screaming just because they was loud didn't didn't prove a point at all, you know? Because it, it just, if it's untrue, it's not true. Right. And then if you go into the account with the prophets, man, man, they put their lives on the line, man, to, to basically put the keys to shame about their idols, man. Hey, man, we out here putting our lives on the line. That's the, the teach the 100% truth, man. Guess what's going to prevail? The 100% truth, man. What you niggas are doing, you ain't going to get nowhere, man. You ain't going to get nowhere. Man. Face of danger. You know, like this. 
Like when we out here, man, do you guys think our life is not on the line, man? Yes. Do we just go out and like that's that's like we see a bunch of eating mice walking down, they got shotguns and stuff, we curse them out. Come on now, that is that smart. They turn around, now they turn to a firing squad on us, man. All because you didn't want to use wisdom, man. Because wisdom go a long way. Wisdom is like a woman, man. If you ain't trying to get into it, have it stand fastly by you, it's going to depart from you, man. And that's what we are seeing. Wisdom has left y'all, man. Because if y'all really was endowed in the scriptures, y'all wouldn't be doing the things y'all was doing. Y'all be using more of y'all wisdom instead of just being carnal. Because the scriptures say carnality is enmity with the Lord, man. You cannot, you cannot think you gonna be, uh, you can't think you gonna get somewhere being in the truth, being carnal as hell, man. Hell no, man. That's death, man. Uh, book of Proverbs chapter 12 verse 15 it says the way of a fool is right in his own eyes and he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise right so again like uh, brother Roger said they call it as wicked because we use it right but you going out there for a unity camp really as a show of force you know what I'm saying you wanted to prove that you know oh, we can gather the brothers together from different cities and show them how powerful we are, right? Where they really didn't even need a response because you going out there like that and, and again, the Lord have mercy on you because if them Palestinians would have stayed in Chicago, who knows what the hell would have happened? You know, Chief people talk about some bringing soda cans and water bottles and everything for what? To throw them at them? Okay, well, what would that would have turned into? Right? Brawl. You would have made, you would have made the ministry Look like we just a bunch of gang members. We just a, a, a Bible thumping gang bangers or something like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. All them, all them two people could have trucked with y'all so easy. They wouldn't even have to fight. You just mob in your direction and run over. And if you go into the scriptures, man, you see the Lord don't give a big numbers, man. The Lord will use take a small number to put a city to fight, man. If you want to, man. Come on, man. Are you serious? You thinking, oh, we are big enough, we down the block. That's, that's like us being out here on Washington, and we got a whole damn bunch of brothers going all the way to the next block down there, man. You know how stupid that young man? Like, you telling a brother, bring it out from all the way to the But you know, we had, we used wisdom. We had to kept that large man, we all split off to different areas, man. Dallas right. We ain't all together, man. You know, it'll be cool, but now, man, we use the wisdom that you look at like you times we coming into are you gonna be quoting scriptures and getting locked up at the same time man we, we see the who was that that they was like Kwan that did that man all because you trying to make a name for yourself man you yell the scriptures and stuff man that ain't a good look man it's, it's, it's about looking like a quote unquote mighty man of the Lord you know what I'm saying but you know uh, a true mighty man of the Lord man you just follow on the scriptures man and wisdom and doing what the Lord has told you to do, right? Not trying to do anything, not trying to be extra. A lot of cats just trying to be extra. That's why every time IUIC go down to the hood, they always get, you know, somebody always want to fight them, you know, uh, uh, something like that, man. If you do it, you want to be extra. You want to be too much. That's the Lord doing it too, baby. Chanting, you know what I'm saying? 
and uh, screaming out chants and everything like that. It was like, you know, that's, again, you're just trying to make yourself like a show of force, a show of your own power. Right, and then, 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 then the Lord embarrass you with some Israelites, man, just a trap we are ass, man. Come on, man. Yeah, it was, uh, like the Apostle So Hard put out a video. It, it was basically like this Palestinian woman so-called retaliating to that for going to crash into somebody's house. Yeah, yeah crash into, uh, um, there was a Palestinian woman, she crashed into uh, uh, what was it? School Irish? One of their schools. Yeah, right, right. It was like, 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 it was like,
in, the, in this sensitive times we live in, you know, it's best to either not even be there or not to get the fight. So just let it go. They was like, no, we can't let this go. We got to go. You should have just let it go. Right. Just tell Yeah, like right, y'all in the y'all in the spirit of Ahab, man. We 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 like uh, what was the prophet name? Brother, remember the prophet name that was talking about Hananiah? Oh, 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 yeah, Micah, uh, Micah, yeah, Kai. We in the spirit that's that prophet, Micah, okay? Yeah, Micah, Micah, Kai, Micah. We in the spirit. Of, in that kind of spirit, okay? Prophesying against the wickedness of your church, man. And y'all in the spirit of Ahab. Every time you come around them, man, you always speaking negative about me, man. But we just trying to help you out, man. But you want us to lie to you and tell you smooth things like, oh yeah, go ahead out there, man. You, 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 don't, get, you don't win against the Palestinians. Then you get out there. You see why Ahab, uh, Ahab, they fight him, man. Y'all saying so, man. Hey, you there every time the damn building got some parts in the room. I can't do nothing to remember the kids. Hey, that's how you take some, man. We just trying to, we just trying to fight, fight, and fight. You can't punch your way out of all situations, man. You just need to just sit back and just think and just have wisdom, man. Yeah, Jake got that, uh, let me do my bullshit piece. Right. And I think you just want to be left alone to the bullshit, man. We, we don't like seeing you chicks getting fucked up out here, but if you want to take the risk with the Lord, and here it is, the Lord clearly just have mercy on you. Like, nah, man, y'all ain't gonna do that, man. Y'all ain't gonna get the ministry, right? But at the same time, y'all did, because now Esau got ammo to play like, all oh, this. It's you know? Tough. Right. You know, Esau thrives off that, man. Yeah. He, he likes seeing you chicks do that, man. Because now he gonna have every single right to come down on us like how he is, man. Okay. They're gonna come out with a new term for you, Jakes, man. They're gonna call it BHE, Black Hebrew Extremists. Right. Terrorists. Yeah. Terrorists. Exactly. And, and for all we know, like I said, the cop probably was given orders. You guys gonna go out there, yeah, we'll come down there, man. But the Lord said, no, this ain't gonna work the way out there to go work. So either way, the most high pulls in the planes. They just gonna show you when you try to do something with the Lord, and you don't got the Lord involved in the Lord, this ain't a whole. Relapse happening, man. Oh, uh, y'all got stuck in traffic, man. That is going to show you the glory of the God in it, man. It's right. Pull up, boys. I pulled up the left. Y'all just sat there. Yeah, man. It would have been better if y'all would have just said, look, we all just going to have, you know, we all going to meet with the brothers. We just going to come right here out there in Chicago. Y'all hyped it up, man. And you was like, what was the hype for? The hype was for nothing. Uh, getting carnal, uh, we, we gonna sit in jail, no place, they don't leave you now when you get a friend. Don't get a friend now when we sit in jail, that's cheap, you know what I'm saying? You know, we're all black. Alright, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 11 and verse 9. It reads, Strive not in a matter that concerneth thee not. Sit not in judgment with sinners. My son, meddle not with many matters, for if thou meddle much, thou shalt not be innocent. And if thou follow after, thou shalt not obtain, neither shall thou escape by fleeing. Basically, aka, just mind your damn business. You don't gotta get involved in that, man. It's not even your matter, man. But you wanna make it your matter. See, here it is, the Lord having these nations go at it and stuff like that for our sake, man. And for his name's sake, man. Because the Lord's going to exalt his name within the earth. And here you niggas trying to get him and all that, man. Oh, look at that. Look at this shit. You know, he, he in the way, man. And the Lord wanted to, he didn't just smite, smite. Uh, he just could have killed all of y'all, man, if he wanted to, man. There's another thing you can think about it. Because we know this. We know they always talk about the media talking about is the potential media lies that got terrorists coming across the border and everything like that, right? Well, you meddling in those matters, you making it look like you on the side of uh, 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 of the JOOs, right? 
because they don't know anything about what we actually preach. They just looking like, oh, y'all call yourselves Israelites? Oh, well, y'all must be with them. You making yourself a target for a potential terrorist attack. How you know that? Exactly. You know? Exactly. So there you go right there, man. You just, you're going to be looking foolish, man. You all the highways and byways and damn instruments in the middle of y'all. The dude is... They don't give a damn by blowing themselves up. Especially if they lost their family. Like, but that's, that's what they don't get. But the other pastor always the one that uh, brought it out. Um, the title of his lesson was Perception but Not Reality. Because Vocab Malone, the devil, when he commented on the so called fight, he, he highlighted, he was like, oh, and they're screaming, uh, Kanye, which in the Hebrew means rise Israel. You see how he did that, right? He's making it seem like they're on the side. But that's that's what you people don't see it that way. You screaming Kanye Ashraf, Kanye, and and okay, okay, I know how to use that. And they're saying rise Israel. So from the perception, it could be perceived that they're on the side of Emily. But the reality is we're not. But that's what the devil will use. And, and because of your uh, being hot headedness, not a ministry. Of this thing, but you think it's all right because you know you in this young private spirit. Oh, I'm a lion. too close they they push them out but you don't see them going out looking for fight. So, no creature in the in the wild unless they're hungry is looking for fights because they know that out there you know there's no first aid kit, you know, there's no hospitals. Any injury they get is, could be like could be, you know, life threatening. So they avoid for the most part any interaction that could cause a harm. And that's why the scriptures say look at the situation. Here it is man, you see in all the animals like the brother just went into they ain't finna go look for no damn fight unless it's for food, territory, or they want it, okay? Hey, here it is, they chick, the same shit. Fuck with his shit, or fuck with his woman, <laughs> you know? That that right there can call Jake to get stirred up, man. But here it is, y'all just wanna do your own thing, man. How the hell a beast got more common sense than you, man? Come oh, on, man, a beast know not to go and provoke another beast, man. That's like a rhinoceros going to fuck with an elephant. And then next you know the elephant flip it up in the earth, man. Because it wanted to provoke it. And when you see animals come across each other, they walk away from each other, man. Cause they know it can end up badly, man. We gotta, as the scripture saying, look into nature. And it shall teach thee, man. You know, like I seen a video of some termites and some ants, man. They was crossing about around each other because they was sitting across from their borders and stuff. But they ain't going to fight with each other. They just cross on through, man. But what y'all want to do, y'all instead of applying the scriptures and looking into nature itself and then teaching you how to be, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, why is you letting peace outdo you, man? And they more than us, man. Come on, man. All right, this is the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 26, and verse 16, right? Talking about uh, King Uzziah, right? And it says, well, when he was strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction. He transgressed against the Lord, his power, and went into the temple of the Lord to burn incense upon the altar of incense. And Azariah the priest went in after him, and with him fourscore priests of the Lord that were valiant men. And they withstood Uzziah the king, and said unto him, It appertaineth not unto thee, Uzziah, to burn incense unto the Lord, but to the priests, the sons of Aaron, that are consecrated to burn incense. Go out of the sanctuary for thou hast trespassed, and neither shall be in thy honor from the Lord Yahweh, right? So it's like, y'all are in that spirit of Uzziah, right? Because Uzziah, because he had a strong heart, right? He, uh, you know what I'm saying? He was strengthening his, his military and everything like that. He, he got lifted up to his he was like, you know what? Since I'm so strong, man, let me go in here and burn the incense in the temple. And you a Judite. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you ain't supposed to be in the temple. Over here. That incense is about death, man. Exactly. And, and here it is. Y'all, because y'all can gather numbers together, y'all got lifted up with pride. And y'all like, all right, well, look, let's go out to Chicago. And you know what I'm saying? Let's show the Palestinians that, hey, we going to come strong. Y'all better not fuck with us. Right. And it's, it's no point. There's no 
It's, it's very courageous. It's stand. It's, it's steadfast. Okay. A lion doesn't go. A wise lion, an older lion, does knows not to go fuck with a pack of buffalo. It singles a wow. It singles a buffalo by itself. Right. That's how we gotta be. We gotta be wise out here. We in the midst of wolves, man. Cause you can get messed up out here. You say the wrong thing to somebody. Hey, they might draw weapons, man. Even if we just out here just teacher, man, and we're not even talking to the brother, hey, he's still drawing a weapon on all this, man, just because, okay, every time we come out, out here on the highways and byways, man, our life is at risk, but with the scripture saying, when two or three are gathered in my name, I am in the midst of it, that's your how shot himself saying, man, his spirit is in the midst of us, man, and, 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 and if you thinking that the Lord is not in the midst of us, man, you're surely mistaken, man, because really, y'all have a problem with y'all with shine. that's why, Y'all ultimately don't want to do what Yahusha said. It's to move in peace, man. Because when Yahusha came, he was as a lamb, man. Peaceful, man. Now when he comes back, then that's when he gonna be like a lion, man. Okay, right now, y'all just trying to defy prophecies and not be wise, man. Okay. I'm gonna go here with that axe. I'm gonna take the brother top and go your back. Now, this account right here, around Paul and what he did. And we're going to see what Paul did that is an example of Eli. It's the book of Acts, chapter 9, verse 15. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will shew him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house and put in his hands on him, Brother Saul, the Lord, even Yahweh Shah, that appeared unto thee in the way as thou camest, have sent me, that thou mightest receive thy sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scales, and he received sight forthwith, and arose and was baptized. And when he had received meat, he was strengthened, then was Saul certain days with the disciples which were at Damascus. And straightway he preached to Mashiach in the synagogues that he is the son of Yahweh. And all that heard him were amazed and said, 
is that not this he that destroyed them which were which called on this name in Jerusalem and came hither for that intent that he might bring them bound unto the chief priests? But Saul increased the more in strength and confounded the Jews which dwelt at Damascus, proving that this is very Hamashiach. And after that many days were fulfilled, the Jews took counsel to kill him. But their laying awake was known of Saul, and they watched at the gates day and night to kill him. And the disciples took him by night and let him down by the wall in the basket. And See, look, now, when you read this account, right, Paul didn't stay in Damascus, man, okay? Here it is, they planned on killing him, man. He, he, and he clearly says he did increase more in strength, man, and in knowledge, man, okay? He was out there teaching in the synagogues, man. You know those Jews was getting offended, man. Okay, meaning of our people, man. So-called blacks, man. They was getting offended, man. And when uh, Saul was, I mean, Paul was teaching, man. But when they decided, like, hey, man, we're gonna kill him, man. We're gonna kill him. Did Paul stay there? No, he like, nah, bro, let's get up out of here. Okay. They let him down in the basket, man. He ain't come back. Man, he was gone. That's stupid as hell to remain in a city where you know people finna kill you, man. That is stupid. But here it is, you chase it. Read, I don't know if y'all read it or, or I don't know. We don't, I don't even think y'all read it. Because y'all did, y'all read that, be like, you know what? Let me uh go to the next city. Or let me go around somewhere else so I don't get into a situation, you know? Oh, man, we stand up fierce. Right. We, 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 we stand cold and strong. We in numbers. And then, you know, you know, you know you've been with a power here that took out millions of people. It ain't nothing for the Lord to just be like, all y'all done, man. Right. That just shows you I don't fear the Lord, number one. Because if you fear the Lord and you sin, well, we read the things that the Lord done, man. And the Lord caused the earth to open up on the family, man. And you know, we was there, we was there back then, but imagine we saw that happen right now. We're like, oh shit, man, he's still doing it, man. It's not the other people's house is just opening up and just taking it. This is 2 Samuel chapter 3, starting at the first verse. It says, Now there was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. But David waxed stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. Right. We all know the latter end of what happened to Saul, right? He died. Okay, he died. All right. And here it is. Hey, David could have killed him when they was in the cave, man. No, David, David's like, no, nah, man, you, you had a you know, you know, you know? And that right there is what made David so great. It wasn't because David went to war and slaying people. No, it was his character, man. That's why the scriptures say a good name is better than any precious oils. It's, it's better than, a good name is better than uh, good 
going out in war and you dying for no reason, man. Okay? Yeah, we we have scriptures about our forefathers going to war, but they prevailed though. Okay? They prevailed though. We got a council of men going to war and they didn't prevail, man. That's why you gotta rely on the Lord to deliver you out of the situation, not upon your own belly, man. Because once again, there is a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. And the house of Saul is right to me. You can tell who those men are. You're emotional. You know, things are emotionally unstable, okay? You're doing things that look kind of suspicious, man, okay? You're doing what the Lord asked you. You're doing totally opposite what the Lord asked you to do. And yeah, that's what Saul did. He did his own thing, man. Now, I ain't gonna get on it. this the Samuel came in, and he was like, nah, man, stay to death, man. He put him to death, man. That, that, that's all there's to it, man. When you try to defy what the Lord asked you to do, now you got now you got enmity with the Lord, man. And man, you can't go see that, man. That's why we get on y'all about with the things that you are doing, because you're not living in wisdom. That's why the scriptures say, our people are destroyed from the lack of knowledge. Yeah, we got our people that's out here that don't know about the truth that de that's destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Do you not think you niggas that call yourself in the truth not destroyed for a lack of knowledge too, man? Because with knowledge comes wisdom, man. And if you're not trying to endow yourself with wisdom, are you not destroying are you not destroyed for a lack of knowledge? Yes. Because you're gonna lead yourself into something that's gonna get you caused to get put to death, man. That's that's the problem. Y'all don't wanna seek wisdom. You wanna just just, just, just fight, 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 and be carnal, man. And that carnality not gonna get you nowhere but into it. The grave, man. And you think if people gonna remember you as a mighty man, and if man, they were like this nigga stupid. That's the only thing they gonna remember you as, man. They gonna remember you as a fool, man. A straight fool. And remember, as a fool with them is with the man. man, just imagine you a son that that's your father, man. Man, you gon' man, Jake gon' drill your ass at the uh, at the congregation, man. They gon' talk shit about your dad, so they, <laughs> it's not even funny. Like, did your dad didn't go out and war, and he was trying to do this and this and that, and he died. You gon' feel butt hurt, man. Okay, uh, brother Todd's gonna have some more, brother David. All right, just to just to go back to a couple of points that you made, I got a, a couple of scriptures in my name. This is Proverbs 16 and 18, and it reads, reads, Pride goeth before destruction, and a hearty spirit before a fall. And that's kind of the point that you're making. And you could always take it that you don't want to become a cautionary tale, all right? Where you go out there and you do something foolish and get yourself in trouble, and more or less get yourself taken off the planet. Now, it could be that maybe the Most High wants them to be filled up in pride so that he can bring something along to knock them down. You know, they, they can look at themselves now and say, yeah, we, you know, we were successful at what we did, rah, rah, rah. You know, they out there with their red cups drinking, and, you know, all that kind of thing, hooping and hollering. So they building up in pride. And that might be what the Lord wants, just to bring them down, okay? Or to do away with them all together. You, you never know. As, as the saying goes, the Lord is a master chess player. Okay? I got one more here. This is uh, St. John chapter 14 and verse 23. I'll start, so I can, 26, I'll start there. But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, including wisdom, and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you, okay? Meaning your mind should be on all the things of the scripture, all the wisdom that is uh, contained in it, right? Say that you're familiar with, that you digest it, right, in your spirit, but your actions are, show, are showing contrary, okay? Verse 27, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So when you have the Holy Spirit, you are no longer thinking carnally, okay? When you have the Holy Spirit, especially if you're gonna be a representative of the kingdom, 
Okay, if you're going to be a representative of your how about Shem Yahushai, especially when you're out here on the street, okay, all right, one, you're supposed to be a much wiser person uh, when you hit these streets through the Spirit, okay? And the Lord has given you that peace through the Spirit. So you don't come out here to uh, get cardinal and to get physical, okay, with anybody that's, that's out or around, okay? Uh, this is, this is, our, our weapons are not cardinal, as the scripture says, all right? We do everything through the Spirit. But it could be, uh, going back to my first point, that who knows? The Lord may let them get built up in prayer. Yeah, man. But the thing is, that's scary though, man. That you doing these things and you don't realize, like, you're not examining and be like, man, I must be doing something wrong. Because then, when it all said being done, when you go out there and you try to provoke somebody, man, and you're not using wisdom, they just take your life, man. Hey, man, you did it to yourself, man. You want to smoke. The Lord gave it to you, man. That's why you should never, ever try to think you want to just be pride and pride for a mighty out here, man. You, you niggas just thinking that, oh, I can just make my name, make a name for myself. Yeah, having a good name is one thing, but making a foolish name for yourself, man, it ain't good, man. Psalms 147, verse 10. He delighteth not in the strength of the horse. He taketh not pleasure in the legs of a man. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him and those that uh, hope in his mercy. Right. First, now this is 1 Maccabees, what you was telling me? 1 Maccabees 6 and 1 Maccabees 5 and verse 67. At that time, certain priests, desirous to show their valor, were slain in battle, but that they went out to fight unadvisedly. See, you see what happens when you, you try to go do something without the Lord, man? You get killed, man. It, 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 that's not wise to do that, man. Especially if it ain't of the Lord, man. But once again, that's like you in Jacob's trouble and you too hasty. When your spirit tells you go left, you go right. You know, you, know, you go right now, you in front of a militia. You gotta, you gotta think, you gotta listen to your spirit, man. A lot of you guys don't do that. You don't listen to your spirit. You go based off just your own mind, like your own heart. Did not the Lord say, lean not upon your own heart? Because the heart is a wicked above all things, man. You gotta, you gotta let the Lord do things, man. You gotta let the Lord handle things, man. It's like with, with, with us and our women, you know? We, we try to help them out, but they like, no, oh, I got it. And then they go do something, then they get fucked over, then they come back with their head down and stuff, confidence all low, and we're like, I should have listened to you. And you sitting there with that, I told your ass something, man. How much more you think the Lord gonna look at, at you when you go and try to do your own thing because you ain't want him to handle it, man? Come on, man, the Lord said he look at us as a woman, man. Israel, Israel as a woman. You gotta let the Lord fight our battles, man. That's why the Lord made us, that's why the Lord, you know, made us head over women because they need us, man. And we need the Lord, man. That's right. You, women can't fight their own battles, man. Like, come on now, like, you come home, your real got a black eye, and you see, like, when she tell you what happened and stuff, the first question I'm gonna ask is, what did you say? <laughs> If it ain't happening for no damn reason, you probably could set them up too much, you know? Okay. So Rock 2, 12, more be to the fearful hearts and faint hands in uh, the center that go two ways. Verse 13, woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not, and sh therefore he shall not be fulfilled. And because uh, at the end of the day, when you abandon your post, do your own will is because you didn't believe that the Lord, His power is capable of protecting you and delivering you. So you perhaps take matters into your own hands with your train hands. So the Lord said you ain't going to be protected because you, you, you look at, uh, you don't really believe that He can do that. Like we were talking about the woman, the reason the woman, the woman to go against her man and try to do everything herself, you know, is because she wants to think.
think that she's she can do more than what she's able. It's like a man. Uh, when the time comes, man, if he doesn't believe in the Lord, he's gonna want to do things his way and take matters into his own hands because he really doesn't believe. You probably got Jake who are uh, you call it a, a disaster prepper. Not saying pressure. that you know. Not saying that you know. Since we got the wisdom, it'll be wise to do whatever you do. But if we got some Jake's really doing it in fear. Now, if you're doing that in fear, that's because you really don't believe that the Lord's gonna provide for you in that day. So you ain't you ain't gonna be protected. So you got to make sure what you're doing stuff is it out of fear, or you know. And if it's out of fear, you need to ask the Lord for strength in that area because really that means you don't believe. In that and if you don't believe, it's gonna move you to. Do things in your own mind. You're gonna go above and beyond because you don't really believe the Lord is gonna deliver you. You're gonna uh, take action to your own hands. It kind of just reminds me of a, of a scene in a Born movie with Matt Damon. He was guiding this guy. He basically saved his life. He said, "Look, they're about to come kill you. Listen to me." He said, "At the beginning, listen to me. You're gonna make it. Right at the end, you got to." he could deliver himself, you know, but he didn't understand the circumstance that he was in, and it was danger all around, but he said, no, I can do this. That's how it's going to be with the family. If you don't trust in the Lord, man, you're going to ultimately probably take that chip, you know, because you're going to want to eat. You know what I'm saying? You want that job or whatever it is. You got to have that faith, man, to, to be willing to, to look at danger in the face and say, I trust in the Lord. Yeah, just like what our forefathers did, you know, three holy children, man. They was in the face of death, man, when they got thrown into that fire, man. But guess what? Their faith was so strong in the Lord that they knew, like, hey, if I die, I die. Okay, but at least I'm going to go out believing in the Lord, man. That's honorable right there, man. And guess what the Lord did, man? Hey, the Lord protected him, man. And we believe that was your house shot within that fire with him, man. Made it, probably made it feel like a cool breeze, man. Like, like the best air that you can feel, man. And here it is, you niggas read, read this. And y'all look over there and be like, man, nah, man, I gotta do something on my own will. Like that, that, like, 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 First Maccabees 6 and 43. Eleazar, also surnamed Savaran, perceiving that one of the beast arms with royal harness was higher than all the rest, and supposing that the king was upon him, put himself in jeopardy to the end he might deliver his people and give him a perpetual name. Wherefore he ran upon him courageously through the midst of the battle, slaying on the right hand and on the left, so that they were divided from him on both sides, which done he crept under the elephant and thrust him under and slew him. Whereupon the elephant fell down upon him and there he died. Now, that's a prime example when you try to, he would have said he tried to make a what for himself? He says, and get a perpetual name. Well, he tried to get a perpetual name. He, he wanted to be a man. As a man that slew the king, that slew his elephant, man. Jake can't think how heavy that damn elephant was, man. Like, Jake going crazy, man. Yeah, he's slicing either mice left and right. Down underneath that elephant, man. Stab him. Elephant fell. 
Come on, Jake. You gotta understand, man. Like, you, you can't fight your way out of all situations. Yeah, it, it sounds cool. Like, yeah, he was doing this and this and that. He killed the elephant. But what are you remember as, man? You, you kind of, uh, you be remembered as a fool, man. You know? Yeah, you was killing left and right, but yeah, you put your life in jeopardy. And the, the, the definition for the word jeopardy means danger of loss, harm, or failure, man. So you put your life in danger, man. And you lost your life, man. All because you want a perpetual name for yourself to remember amongst Israel, man. Now when we read these accounts like that, bro, like, you put your life in jeopardy, bro. You killed yourself, man. Hey, all over just vain, bro. Mm -hmm. It shows you that even in the midst of actual war, surrounded by the eagle, Jake was still looking to make a name. So imagine today, no different. Jake want to make a name. want to be the guy. They change doctrine. They take the bag. They did that in the war where the war actually matters. So you're fighting for your life here, and you're still worried about making a name for yourself. You can do it today. That just goes to show you, man, like, it ain't worth it. You know? And in the scriptures say, he that is off himself shall be a face, man. So when you try to make a high, mighty name for yourself, man, off your own reasons, instead of allowing the Lord to do it, man, life will risk it. So, uh, in Ecclesiastes chapter 7, and, uh, I'm going to go 9. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger rests in the bosom of fools. Say not thou, what is this cause that for the former days were better than these, for thou dost not require wisely concerning this. Wisdom is good with an inheritance, and by it there is profit to them that see the sun. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 12, for wisdom is a defense, money is a defense, and the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it, and that's a threat to the Righteous stuff can get you killed, man. Be not righteous over much. Neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? Why would you want to destroy yourself, man? Doing all that provoking the Palestinian stuff, you being over righteous, man. Because that over righteous stuff can get you killed, man. Screaming and hollering and stuff like that. Telling why you walking down the street, boy, and stuff like that. Come on, man. It's going to cut deep, man. Look, <laughs> Verse 17. Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldest thou die before thy time? Right. Why be foolish and you put, you kill yourself? Come on, man. The Lord just, man, this is wisdom right here, man. But y'all have to take that as you hate me, man. Y'all have to take that as you hate me, Ock. How? If we just trying to give you correct wisdom. Because, uh, I always say, man, like, even people in the world, that's what they do, man. When you try to correct them or admonish them, rebuke them, you know, they, oh, you hate them. Man, it takes it take somebody that courage to say some shit. Exactly. 
Because if you don't care, well, well, why bother saying something? Exactly. You see? And, and, and that's why we out here. The Lord told us to cry aloud and spare none, man. You can't spare your damn feelings, man. You doing some off the wall stuff, we gonna call you out on it, man. We correct each other if we go off, man. They ain't they out of hate, man. You know, some brothers do it more sternly, man. But at the same time, you gotta be a, you gotta be a man, bro, and take it. It's like, here it is, driving down the street, and you start drifting off to the right, but you about to head into a ditch. And you take the brother hand, you be like, hey, brother, turn this way, turn it back, get back straight, get back on the road. Bro, I had it, man. What you doing that for, dog? Nigga, you nodding off while I'm asleep. <laughs> Right, right. Right. And then it's going to show you like you're too emotional. You get mad at something like that, man. Because it's one thing if a brother comes to Like I said, some brothers will rebuke you in a certain way. We know the elder will be. You get cussed out. You know, some brothers do it in a more, you know, pleasant way. But if it's like I was on the heat of the place, man, don't be shocked if you get cussed out, man. Because some brothers are more lenient. Some brothers just straight, just, just straight like that, man. You know? You just get cussed out. But here it is. This is all the Lord, though, man. When the Lord, when we bring out these scriptures and we try to correct you, man, it's really the Lord talking to you. Exactly. Because guess what? You don't want the Lord to come to you, man, because you are busy with any day. You've been warned an ample amount of times, multiple times, before he even got to that level, man. Because here it is, you don't want nothing getting to the point where the Lord is like, you know? You don't want to get to that point. Let's go ahead, brother. This is uh, verse 18. It is good that thou shouldest take hold of this, yea, also from this withdraw not thy hand. For he that feareth Behold shall come forth of them all. Wisdom strengthen, strengtheneth the wise more than ten mighty men which are in the city. Right, and here it is. The Lord just said, Wisdom strengthen the wise more than ten mighty men. Yeah, y'all looking good and with all the big numbers and stuff, but none of you niggas got wisdom. There's gonna be 40 of y'all on one block, and all y'all sound stupid, man. Here it is. The Lord can have three men on the highways and byways, and they standing boldly in wisdom, man. Hey, the Lord not looking for all the big numbers and screaming and hollering and microphone. The Lord ain't looking for all that, man. The Lord looking for those that are trying to teach the word of truth and sincerity. I'm serious, young reason to, to, for a bunch of people to be, you know, uh, got together and everybody singing a different song. Because that shit don't sound like that. I'm saying, y'all Y'all up here having these these human accounts, I got to speak the same thing. This can't believe in this. This can't believe in that. Man, that's like a bunch of damn combo. Try to dance around the question and bring out all scriptures and stuff. Get straight to the point, okay? They, they can't answer because if, if WFI is teaching, they gonna say it's spiritual. But if you got Sicario over there, what they gonna keep silent? Or they are they gonna pull precepts to back him up? It's no longer unity. I'll take you know what I'm saying. It's a joke. And then you get. Uh, I was just saying, just yeah, just take one question. Exactly, one question, man. One question. And if you can't answer that, then how are you edifying the sheep? How are you warning? How are you going to call yourself the watchman for Israel? Or are you really watching? Are you really watching? Because if you're really watching, you'll be warning people of a, of a future prophecy that's going to come. That's at the door. Exactly. Here it is. It's here, man. Hey, the Lord, every time those articles go out about the W, I mean, the, the, uh, the mark of the beast, man, that is a warning from the Lord, man. It is here. Soon it's going to be made mandatory soon, man. What we are seeing happen in the world are steps and prophecy, uh, things coming to pass. Basically, these are steps to the market. Come on, give us a warning. Give us a war. Earthquake.